I would say that by virtue of having a certain skin tone, you are immediately red in a particular way. As a black woman, I just get questioned a lot more in every single field, be it dating. Do you date white guys? Do you date black guys? Like, what's your vibe? I don't know white girls who get asked those questions. Being a black woman, you're dealing with First, it was, for me, it was the race part, mm -hmm. and then you deal with the sexism on top of top that. Of Some of the ways that our attractiveness is described can be quite dehumanising. I quite often get called, you know, milk chocolate, and, you know, while some people see that as a massive compliment, I see that as dehumanising, and I feel like quite often I'm sexualised in a way that white women aren't. There is this uh, impression that black women are these hypersexual, you know, uh, creatures that can just be used in a particular way. And then within that, it depends on the shade of the black woman. Mm. There's a whole other issue within mm, that. Mm, mm. And then it's about whether you're dating in, inside or outside of your race. There's so many myths about how we're supposed to be in, in intimate settings. Mm. And I think, I think a lot of people, whether you date men, women, you know, black people, non-black people, they can project certain expectations onto you because of what they think. There is definitely a perception of black women sexually that I, I notice an uptick in attention basically the second I leave <laughs> London because they're kind of not used to me and they kind of have all these ideas. Mm -hmm. And I was with a white female friend and she was kind of getting in her feelings about all the attention I was getting. And I was like, they are paying me attention because they think I'm a prostitute. The attention that I get would really like provoke a lot of my white female, mm -hmm. uh, my white female friends. So I'd be like, the nature of it is is horrible. It's not respectful. Yeah, exactly. I don't like it. Exa yeah. Exactly. I remember being told that I don't have a typical black girl body because I don't have thick thighs and a big bum and huge boobs. There isn't a right way for a black woman to stand up for herself without being seen as aggressive. Where do these stereotypes even come from? Come from, from that's why I, I don't know. know. Sometimes yeah. I feel like it's because we've had to fight. Yeah. Yeah, to be heard. You've seen my blackness and you have presumed that I don't have any ethics or trouble. respect. Yeah. I remember once I had like an altercation with a woman as I was waiting to get a train and she was a white woman, older, accused me of pushing in front of her and she goes, oh, typical. And I turned around to her and I was like, typical what? And she had, you know, she just said it without realizing, you know, that I was gonna pick up on what she's insinuating. And I was like, typical what? I was like, typical black, that's what you meant. I mean, I'm really quite nice. I'm already quite friendly, but I have to be extra friendly. I have to be super extroverted. I have to be very like talkative just so people don't think that I'm being standoffish. People are already ready to receive you in a certain way, regardless mm. of how you've interacted, regardless of how you show up that day, regardless of if you are angry or not angry in that specific moment. Yeah. And you probably have a lot to be angry about anyway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, people are already like projecting their ideas of what you should be onto you. And then if you react to that mm. and you are justifiably angry, then it's double down. Oh, mm. See, she's got an attitude. It's difficult. If I didn't like something, I'd kind of stay silent. Yeah. And because I didn't want to be, you know, because I was a you black girl. You don't want to be the problematic. Yeah, so I didn't want to come yeah. across as being a problem or angry. Kind of the stigmas that kind of come sometimes yeah. when you're voicing an opinion. Black woman saying they're upset about something, particularly in the workplace as well, it's read in a different way. If I cry, I'm being hysterical. If I speak up, I'm being loud and aggressive. I've got to toe the line when it comes to my emotions, and yeah, it's tricky. In terms of the sort of myths that affect black women, I would say that despite all the work that's being done to sort of undo them, they are just as prevalent as ever. It's up to us to keep making noise and we keep demanding. To. Don't let the colour of your skin define you. You are beyond being black. You are beyond being a woman. You are amazing. That is what you should step forward with.